today is the beginning of something big. I, why the fuck I take on my head? <laughs> Live reaction, robot. <laughs> Live reaction. <laughs> So, let me explain what you guys just saw. By the way, I'm Chewy, Cedric's cousin, aka Primo, and that's us signing yet another lease to another apartment. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's look back at what led for all this to happen. So, this was the day before it all happened. My cousin and I went to the gym like normal, wondering what our near future plan was. I needed a place to stay and he needed a place to work. It clicked to me that one of my coworkers was in need of a roommate to be able to keep up his lease. And I mentioned the idea to my cousin and asked my coworker when his lease was over. And when he told us that it was the very next day, we were shook. We had to act fast and decide whether or not to take this opportunity. At this point, Cedric hasn't even met the guy yet. We decided to pull the trigger anyway. Oh shit. <laughs> yup. First day at the new apartment and I rear-ended the gate. At least it's that, but not a fucking other car. <laughs> Fuck, should we just fix it on the application then? Yeah, explain it on there. Once we got to signing papers, we realized that we could possibly not be accepted for the lease because of our last place. If you didn't know already, me and my cousin used to live in another apartment before. Unfortunately, we had to cut our lease early and ended up owing the last month's rent, which we got sent to collections for and are still paying. I know, terrible. But here are our thoughts on the apartment. All right, so how, what do you think? I like it too, actually. I think it's pretty spacious, even the living room. Bro, even his room. His room is a smaller room and it's like, damn. Yeah. And we get our own bathroom? No, That's all we really it. need. <laughs> if anything, I can probably get rid of the storage unit and like keep the closet space for the clothing brand. Many of you guys may be wondering why I'm doing this when I'm in the situation I'm in. But I don't think the situation I'm in is that grand because my money's been going to waste either way, why not just fucking put it into something that gives me more space, more freedom to work with, more in the environment of being in a work area. Because right now, we are thinking of the biggest content apartment we could possibly do. I, I'm excited to see our room, we haven't even seen our room. We haven't even seen our room, which is gonna be the master bedroom. That could be the, the area to fucking make the podcast. We're gonna start cooking, cooking videos slash streams. We're gonna start streaming. That's the main reason I'm doing this, I guess. I've been really inspired to start streaming and that's what's, and that's the kind of content I'm gonna be focusing on. I'm still gonna be giving you guys content here on Cedric's cash flow, but that's just gonna be with the basic finance stuff. If you guys really want to stay tuned, go ahead and follow my Twitch and also subscribe to Strictly Cedric and Cedric Live because that's where a lot of the VODs, a lot of the clips are going to be posted on. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And my cousin here is going to help me behind the scenes. The real challenge is going to be the 0 to 1000 where I, I try to make money online and my 9 to 5 is basically going to be providing for the channel. Um, not gonna lie, I was this close to quitting the job I'm working at right now. Bro, I was dead so close to quit. It's a good thing you did it. I know, right? Because now we know more about Benico. Yeah, does, does that make you want to stay more? Honestly, yeah. Because just thinking of food, imagine having 80,000 in uh, Benico. That shit would be crazy. Like that, like that will make you want to just keep staying and stacking it up more. At that point, but at the same time, it's like, you're not always promised the government jobs. Yeah, that's the shitty part of it. Like, you don't know when they're coming. When you know? Like, when you're not working government, you're probably going to be, like, mentally challenged. Yeah, yourself fuck the yeah, whole dude. Time. I'll probably spoil one of my future videos where I talk about my mental health and all that stuff, but it's time to lock in again. Prioritize my mental health and prioritize the shit that I need to do, but now it's, now it's about fucking working yeah. again, you know? This is a golly. <laughs> we still signed the lease and waited to see if we got accepted. And we did. Now, lock in to make the best of it. Two desks right here. Then we got lighting from here. Also, whiteboard maybe right here. Or maybe right here. Big, this is perfect. The closet. 
Tony's gonna get half, and Strictly Business Clothing is gonna take the other half. I'm getting rid of the storage unit. Why are these bitches open? That's pretty dope. Alright guys, so for the rest of the video, it's just us loading and unloading stuff around the room. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. As you can tell, I'm very fond of air conditioning. You guys will be hearing more from me and definitely Cedric. And look forward to more content from our other channels as well. Cedric Games, Productive Potheads, and Strictly Cedric. And we'll see you there. Because that is not going to be cheap. We would move out right in the summer. Ugh. Now let's go pick up my cousin's stuff. After that, we'll start setting up the room. Just finished setting up my PC. Look at that. What is this? Soldier food. Soldier food? Wait, that's a PB and J? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Billy. Welcome to MTV Cribs. What'd you get in today? My eggs. Hold up the camera real quick. Oh, <laughs>